Hi Lauren. It's Friday, August 27th. And I'm in an airport. I should be making you this video from the comfort of our room, but due to a poorly scheduled flight, I find myself in front of the window out onto the tarmac at SeaTac, which is the Seattle Tacoma Airport, in case you were wondering. The Green River Killer, one of the deadliest serial killers in American history, picked up prostitutes from around SeaTac and then killed them. Fact for you. But I wanted to take this last video of the summer to do some super nostalgic reminiscing in a variety of locations. So here we go. After I was officially moved into Sarah Lawrence and my mother had left and I'd started making fat fatty friends, I wrote my mom an email that included a line like this. I met a really awesome girl named Lauren who is also pre-med and likes a lot of the same stuff as me and we're getting along really well. I wish she was my roommate. Either way, I'm really glad to have friends like her. You took me in at Thanksgiving when I didn't have any real family on the East Coast and we danced around to waking up in Vegas and napped on a strange couch in New Hampshire and found out about Tiger Woods' infidelity and ate too much and went to a disco where I was extremely high on allergy medication. I kind of think that makes us family. After winter break, I told you the story of my first real hookup, and I showed you the dental impression he left in my lip. And later when we were getting dinner at Bates, and he was there and talking to me and I was a little panicking, you stood awkwardly 10 feet behind me spooning peas onto your plate one at a time so that you could watch us talk. And while that might have been out of nosiness, I prefer to think it was you watching my back. I found myself in your room a lot this past semester. For no real reason. And I sometimes napped in your bed when no one else was in the room. I'm inexplicably glad for this occurrence. During this past conference week, we were sitting at the top of the library stairs really early in the morning. You were anxious and upset because of biology and I was anxious and upset because of who we were with. And in a moment of panic and sleep deprivation and needing to look anywhere besides in a textbook or at who we were with, because if I did either of those things, I was pretty sure I was going to cry, I typed you an email with the subject line, procrastination leads to legitimacy. And two weeks later, we started this project. The last story I wanna share is one that hasn't happened yet. We're sharing a room this year and I know we'll make a lot of memories, good and bad in that room. And it will be a turbulent year, and I'm pretty sure we'll both cry a lot, which is inevitable. But the last story is how we will help each other through that. How we will keep on being family. If you remember my awkward talking at that Christian Union meeting, you'll remember that I have led a life largely of instability, and that I am putting myself through school and doing what I can, and sometimes that's enough and sometimes it isn't. And it's been this way for a long time. But I think the friendships we made at Sarah Lawrence have a permanence to them that I haven't experienced before. And I'm glad for that. Lauren, I'll see you in our room on Monday. Lauren, I'll see you in our room on Monday. Lauren, I'll see you in our room on Monday.
Thank you.